come and have fun with Drupal. Welcome. I am Elias Barbosa from Drupal Fever. This video series was created to help you set up a development environment on your local computer so you can safely try the Drupal CMS. But before we go any further, we need to discuss the reasons behind the need for a development environment. In the past, if a webmaster needed to make a change to his website, he would log into his web server and edit the HTML right there. Once he had saved this change, the live website would reflect those changes right away. Things have gotten much more complicated since those early days of front page extensions. In the past, a website was viewed as no more than a brochure to help promote real brick and mortar businesses. Today, websites are astronomically more complex and most importantly, they have become more critical for their owners. Downtime on a website can literally translate into financial loss. The complexity and importance of today's websites is what generated the need for a development environment where chains can be safely tried and tested. What we will be setting up here is a Drupal development environment. Drupal is a content management system, or CMS for short. Nowadays, a web developer doesn't have to spend time and effort designing a website from the ground up. His job now has shifted into customizing a plain vanilla CMS installation so it meets the specific needs and tastes of his clients. But why Drupal? That's a relevant question. Drupal is just one of many options for your CMS. If you did your homework, you may have heard of WordPress or Joomla. Drupal, however, is the most promising open source project in its category. Drupal is gaining tremendous momentum on the last few years and all the hype around the CMS is well founded. The largest companies around the world have been adopting Drupal as their CMS of choice. Just to mention a few examples of Drupal websites. Intel, a famous chip maker, has adopted Drupal as their CMS. Check them out at intel.com. Drupal has been adopted by the Sony RCA music label to create websites for all their artists. The 20th Century Fox Movie Studio uses Drupal. Their website is at foxsearchlight.com. Every year, the Grammy Music Awards website receives massive traffic when they announce the nominees. It's no surprise that they have adopted Drupal as their CMS. Their website is at Grammy.com. Also, the White House adopted Drupal as the platform for their website. The last few examples clearly illustrate Drupal's level of performance on a high traffic environment. It also illustrates how much Drupal is trusted when it comes to security. You as a web developer may be facing a crossroad in your career, deciding where you will invest your future as a web developer 
is a serious matter. You don't want to invest your time and effort familiarizing yourself with a CMS that will become obsolete. There is no question that today's web development world demands the use of some sort of CMS, and I hope that I was successful in make a case for using Drupal as your CMS. Now it's time to talk about the requirements for having Drupal running locally. Not only Drupal, but most popular CMSs are dependent on what is called an AMP. AMP stands for Apache, MySQL, and PHP. In order for us to set up an AMP on our local computer, we will go through five steps. One, install a virtual PC. Two, install Linux inside this virtual PC. Three, install the Apache web server on Linux. Number four, enable the PHP extensions on Apache. And number five, install a MySQL database server. But we will go much farther than that. We will go over the applications that you will be using to create your website. Here is a list of the applications that we will be talking about. You should have an IDE, Integrated Development Environment, so you can create your own Drupal modules and themes in PHP. You will need a version control system. We will be using Git for this. You will need graphic editing tools such as GIMP, Inkscape, and Blender 3D. You will need some sort of office suite. This will be taken care of on our next video. See you then.